What's, What's up, up AA fam? fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ant. And your girl Anna and baby Elijah. Look. Say hi, Elijah. Yeah. Uh, we just woke up not that long ago. We do have to get out of bed. But today's a special day. You want to <laughs> tell them why, Elijah? Do you want to tell them why it's a special day? He's excited. He's very excited. He woke up in such a good mood. He was giggling and laughing his butt off. He's like, get out of bed, Dad. Come on, we got stuff to do today. Yeah, I know. And honestly, y'all, we're still getting used to being back home. Slowly but surely, you know, we're, we're getting, getting there. there. Yeah. yeah. Getting but today, it's a special day because if you guys didn't know, well, if you guys have us on IG, on Instagram, y'all know that Elijah turned six months. Ooh, he turned six months. six months. He had his little Greek pictures up for his six be months. Six months. <laughs> mm, I can't believe you're six months, buddy. Mm, I can't believe you're six months. <laughs> you're six months. Oh my God, like where does time go? I, mean, I feel like just... Hey, be careful that giraffe. He's been hitting me in my face all day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like just yesterday I had him and it's crazy. Like Anthony and I were talking about that. Like, how is he six months already? You know, like yeah, no, time oh. definitely flies by super quick. Yeah, it's it's a little ridiculous. But yeah, my baby is six months. He's getting big. But today, y'all, we will be introducing him to foods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready to try food? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that actually oh, hurts. Oh, oh. What? He's grabbing his toes now too. Look. Yeah, he is. He wants to like grab his toes. Elijah, what are these? Where are your toes? Look. Where are your toes at? Are those He'd be your like toes? this. Look, watch, 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 watch. Are those your toes? Look, 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 look. <laughs> He'd be grabbing his toes. No, but he'd be trying to put them in his mouth, y'all. No. Yeah. L last time I remember we caught him. But I think the baby doesn't realize we're back in the U.S. Like for <laughs> <laughs> okay. But he's gotten so long. Look, and then yeah, he wants to turn all the time. Show them what you could do. Show them what you could do now that you're six months. I grab my toes. Put them in my mouth. <laughs> oh no, you put them in my mouth. What else can you do? <laughs> yeah. <Say this. laughs> oh, he said this. <laughs> I love my baby so much. I can't believe he's so big. I'm gonna literally cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. You oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Show them what you could do, puppy. Come on. Buenos dias, amiguitos. Como estas? Muy bien. Let's go. Yeah, crawl to me. Crawl to me. Crawl, crawl, crawl. So I feel like he's gonna start crawling very, very soon, y'all. Yeah, because the way he like moves and and everything, it's crazy. Yeah. Come on, come, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Come, yeah. Is that my baby? It's that my baby. Oops. <laughs> Is that my BB? Is that my BB? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's just holding on. Elijah, are you ready to try foods? You ready to try something else than mama's milk? All right, guys, I'm about to do my makeup and my beauty thing looks a complete mess. Did somebody order a baby. Huh. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, daddy has to go. Oh, where do you want me to put him at? Because I know you're doing your makeup. No, it's fine. I can hold him real quick. You sure? Yes, because we've made it to six months of breastfeeding. And I'm very proud. We're both proud, right? All right, so I'm over here trying to do my makeup. And of course, I can't have Elijah. But my sister came to the rescue. <laughs> talking to you anyways thanks cam you're welcome breastfeeding has oh yeah breastfeeding has been exactly that what you guys just saw. i couldn't have said it better like that's exactly how breastfeeding is it's a roller coaster please excuse the mess in the background y'all we just got back from a trip and my house looks very crazy but i promise i'm working on that yeah it's good to you know take opportunities when you have them so when elijah's 
I get a nap, I try to get as much stuff done. When Elijah is with daddy, I try to get as much things done as well. Days where like my sister comes and my sister's really just helping us like in the work side of things. But sometimes like I'll be like, hey, can you grab Elijah real quick? And when she does, I try to get as many things done as well because if you're a mom, you know, like you're always on the go. You have to work around the baby's time. It's not about you anymore. It's about them. So whenever like they're sleeping or they're entertained or they're with like grandma, grandpa, daddy, auntie, like you try to just work. Breastfeeding, 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 breastfeeding. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's been like all beautiful because that would be a lie. It's very empowering and it has been a beautiful journey that I have to say, but it also has been very, very difficult. Oops. I mean in the sense of like your body changing. Like I knew with pregnancy, my body was gonna change and I was just going to face like a lot, but body doesn't only change when you have a kid. Like body changes a lot when you're also breastfeeding because it's like, I don't know. I feel like this right here is not like it used to be. <laughs> People say that you lose a lot of weight when you're breastfeeding. In my case, it was a little different. I think I just got more hungry and I started eating more. And so I gained a little bit more weight that I'm trying to lose now, but I'm um, breastfeeding still. So it's just been very interesting seeing everything unfold. But I would say this, breastfeeding has been one of the best things that I'm doing for my baby. And I'm proud of myself, even though it has been hard because, you know, just waking up in the middle of the night, like right now it's currently 1030 and um, Elijah's last feeding was at 7 a.m., which was like super, super early in the morning. And he's going to feed again at 11. But one thing that has been helping me is I recently started giving him formula as well so right now he's doing half and half so before i was strictly doing all breastfeeding and i would just that's all i would give elijah just strictly breastfeeding i did it strictly for four months and once elijah turned five i started giving him formula so half and half which matter of fact i'm gonna show you guys the formula that i've been using and feeding him it's a special formula it's not like when you can get here in the states it's actually a foreign formula from europe and i will let you guys know why i made that decision that will be in a little bit once i go downstairs and show you guys but anyways breastfeeding has been beautiful However, like there were so many times where I wanted to give up. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Like, and I'm talking about like nipples cracking and everything. And that was like very, like that was honestly in the very beginning when my boobs would hurt really bad and I wanted to give up more when I first started. But I was like, no, I want to do this. Like, I obviously knew I had a goal and my goal was to breastfeed until he was at least six months and he's six months now so that's why i'm making this video because i feel like okay i kind of accomplished something that i set my mind to do because i know breastfeeding is really good for your baby it's all has all the nutrients and everything but it was just so hard y'all after like the first two months i would say it started getting a little better but it was still it hurt so bad like I was getting used to breastfeeding my nipples would crack I would literally use like nipple cream all the time TMI because it was just like it would hurt so bad and then after two months it started feeling better but then now it became like a mental thing like um it was really hard still just work the schedules like I you know in Chicago for example you guys saw when I was in Chicago well, I don't know if you did see the vlogs and stuff I would go out and I would have to be back home for a certain time so I was like timed because I knew that I had two to three hour window span before he would get hungry again so i would do like run errands and stuff um but sometimes i would be in like in the middle of shopping for example and i would literally have to like drop everything because i'm like oh my god it's been two hours elijah's gonna go crazy now i have to go home and breastfeed and in chicago it was like that like in chicago i was there for a friend's bridal shower and all the girls we went out to eat to um dinner and stuff and i remember that it was already like eight o'clock and I'm like freaking out. We're like 40 minutes away from home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get home. Like I have to breastfeed my baby. And the baby was fine. He was with dad, he was good, but like I needed to breastfeed the baby. And then I got home finally and he was like crying. I felt so bad. I was only a few minutes late, but I felt really bad. So that's just kind of to give you an idea of how chaotic it was with like the whole timing and stuff. Um, And I was producing milk, but I was producing enough to feed him. So I would like feed him and then like, you know, three hours later my breast would get full again and I would feed him again. That happened for a long time so it was really hard because I didn't have like milk stored where it got a little crazy and everything so I was like you know what I'm going to do half and half and okay I'm coming all right guys one second is that my baby 
Oh, oh my god! Oh, you're so cute! I'm gonna help watch the video right here and I'll see you guys in the next Okay, so I just finished doing my makeup. I did it pretty quick. Honestly, some days I get surprised of how quick I'll be doing my makeup. I'll be like, dang, I did it in 20 minutes today. <laughs> because when you have a baby, you have to, like I say, work on their time. Elijah should be up from his nap anytime now. It hasn't been too, too long, but I don't know. He's in the stage where he's sleeping, but he gets up like, I don't know, he'll take like 15 minute naps and then he's up. Because when he was a newborn, he would sleep three to four hours at a time. So when he does get up, I have to go breastfeed and I still am pumping and giving it to him in the bottle because that's what I found that's easiest for me and it works. Um, no matter how you do it, mamas, if you breastfeed and put him on your boob or if you, you know, pump and give it in the bottle, it's all the same thing. I mean, obviously the bonding, it's beautiful when they're on your breast and I did that for the first few months as well. But now that he's older, like he kind of just won't, like he kind of winged off the boob and now he's just um drinking everything on the bottle talking about him getting up he is up i just heard him right now literally perfect timing i just like guessed it right i was like he should be up anytime and any second he's up it's my bb up oh <gasps> it's my bb up are you up from your nappy yes thanks for letting mommy do her makeup I love you. Did you have a good nappy? Yeah. Your eyes are a little chinky. Your eyes are chinky. You got a good nappy. You had a good nappy. Yeah. Okay, let's get you out. Mommy has to pick up her makeup though. She left it a mess. She just came to grab because she heard you crying. But he wasn't really crying. Like, I don't know. Elijah's such a good baby. He doesn't be like crying wait like he doesn't be waking up crying i just hear him but like he just be making noises like basically like hey i'm up come get me <laughs> um but it's time to go feed you baby it's time to go feed you so we're gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna go pump which by the way guys i am wearing this nursing bra which is really really good and it's so helpful it's been literally a lifesaver all these months that i've been breastfeeding because it's just so easy to just you know take it off and then boom put the pump or just stick the pump there are you still ready to eat solids because we're gonna introduce him to solids food today and i'm excited to let y'all know what's the first food he's gonna be trying are you excited are you excited all right, let's go feed you, baby. Come on. Okay, guys, so I come from downstairs. I'm currently pumping. So we actually been prepping our food and then eating it because it's a lot easier that way. And parents like us on the go, that's always like on the go. It just makes life so much easier. But today I'm eating some chicken and these are some veggies right here. Zucchini, Zucchini yeah. Very important that you um, eat healthy when you're breastfeeding because everything you eat like the baby eats, if that makes sense. So one of the things, um, and I'm about to eat, babe, but I want to show y'all this before I forget I'm real quick. Eat it up again. No. <laughs> okay, let me go eat. So a lot of the times I do find myself eating and um, pumping at the same time or breastfeeding because I don't know something about breastfeeding gets me so hungry, super thirsty. Like I'm talking about, I can drink a gallon of water after I'm done breastfeeding. I do have to say, food tastes a thousand times better when you're breastfeeding. Okay, just got done eating and now I'm just waiting uh, to finish pumping because I'm almost done. Elijah was going a little crazy in the background so we had to take care of that. Um, but I'm done pumping and let's see how much milk I pumped. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. I always hate how I do out, that. <laughs> no. That's so much milk. Mm. I always like to a little bit. I don't know. It's like my toxic treat. So that one right there was four ounces. Oh my God. Thank you, babe. Be careful, don't spill that one. I'm not gonna spill this one. Yo. Wow. <laughs> That's well, I spilled some, so I guess it's a little more, but literally, I didn't spill any of this, but the other one I did spill some by accident. But y'all look, nine ounces, yeah. exactly nine ounces. <laughs> That's crazy. Anthony always be hyping me up when I be pumping. He'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe you could do that. That's amazing. <laughs> and one of the reasons why, cause a lot of 
you know, people would ask me, but Anna, why don't you just put him on your boob? And I do occasionally put him on my boob. And like the first month, it was just him strictly on my breast. But it was bothering me not knowing like how much milk he was drinking. Like I was like, is my baby still hungry? Is he not hungry? When Because when he was like first born, it's like he had to eat a certain amount of ounces like every few hours so i just didn't know if he was actually drinking that much so i was like no i have to pump so by pumping i knew exactly how much i was giving him like now like i pumped for 25 minutes and i pumped nine ounces that's awesome versus if i would have put him on my breast it would have been like Guess 30 you, minutes yeah. and then 30 minutes here and oh, i would have kind of felt like my breast like okay like there's no more milk in there but still i didn't know exactly how much he drank and it would take a lot longer too yeah. but the bonding is amazing i do recommend like if you putting them on your breast or early on before the bonding and also throughout you know if you do want to start pumping still put them on your breast once in a while because the bonding experience is just amazing and like it's beautiful like you just feel so connected to your baby so are you gonna miss that when we start giving him yeah yes i really am we're gonna start giving him whole foods that's not to say that i'm done giving him milk which by the way let me show y'all because i told you guys i'm doing like half and half now a lot of people also ask me like how do you produce milk what has helped you like because your diet is very important when you eat poorly and you're not eating like the right things or drinking the right things or like staying hydrated sometimes you can't produce milk that's why it's important to eat healthy and then also stay hydrated and when i say eat healthy i don't mean like you have to be on a strict diet but i'm saying just eat veggies what has been helping me a lot is first of all oatmeal i I eat a lot of oatmeal. I usually have this for the morning for breakfast and then sometimes late at night when I want to snack or something, but oatmeal is really good to produce milk. This has been helping me a lot. You see, I got the quick, like I got just oatmeal stacked for days. <laughs> and then another thing that has really been helping me is the coconut water, which I also have stacked up for days. Like this one just came in the mail. Another thing that's really good for breastfeeding, body armor. Body armor is really, really good. It helps you produce milk. What else? Oh, of course, like my vitamins. I still take my prenatal vitamins here, y'all. So like, this is like, you take vitamins when you're pregnant, but I'm still taking them to this day. That's, I think that's one of the reasons why my hair has gotten so long. Honestly, like, it, like my hair has gotten so long because of those vitamins. Definitely just being hydrated has helped me a lot. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Yes, I'm breastfeeding still but I'm also doing um, a formula and this is a formula that I started giving my baby last month it's called Holly but if you see everything is written in like another language babe what language is this German oh, or actually we just got a, a package yeah, I like to be stocked up, um, even though we have like four brand new ones in there that we haven't used. Because again, y'all, it's only doing half. So um, yeah, that's funny. Like the yeah. package just came in, but I like to have them stocked up just in case. This brand is European and I did a lot of research. y'all. I did a lot, a lot of research and they said that yeah, after breast milk, yeah. this is literally We're the like best milk. Yeah, I think it's Swiss to give to your baby because it's just the closest thing to breast milk. This is literally the best milk you you could get for your baby after you know of course breast milk i feel like is the best and not only that but breast milk is oh, free well, you're not being colombian breast milk colombian breast milk yeah, just breast milk and period this, this is gold right here <laughs> gold and now and a colombian breast milk <laughs> It's not getting no better. It doesn't anymore. matter if it's Crazy. Colombian or whatever it is, babe. Breast milk in general is like the best. My baby produces the finest breast milks around. Hey, I'm selling some milk if y'all want, you know. Hundred dollars for this one. <laughs> of course, breast milk is the best you could give to your baby. But after I did read that this is it, and nothing against American brands, but I just wanted to give my baby the best. And um, it was just something personal that, you know, Anthony and I both agreed on. Like, we just wanted to give him the best milk. The ones in the States are good too, but you just have to be very careful because I'm not gonna get into detail, a lot of detail, but some of the formula here in the United States, they don't pass the FDA approval um, and they don't pass like those kind of checks and stuff. And to me, that was really important. I wanted to know what was going inside my baby's body. And then again, making the transition from breast milk to another milk, like I wanted to make sure it was good. This milk is a little more expensive, you know what I'm saying? It's a little more expensive, but it's okay because it's the best milk <laughs> after breast milk. But you know, the best milk, you get it for the free. Are you ready for your mama's milk? Or are you eating those toes? Mm. <laughs> yeah! You said yeah! You're ready for mama's milk? Give me a high five. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> what are you trying to say to the AE fam? Tell him you 
just finished eating. Say, I'm done. I finished. He's probably gonna knock out here in a little bit. Or well, that that'll be good because that'll give us an opportunity uh, to build his high chair. Yes, yes, yeah. We're gonna go build this high chair very soon. But you know, today just I just wanted to take this time to make this video and kind of give you guys an update of like the last six months and you know my breastfeeding journey. I'm and... so proud of you, babe. Oh, thank you. I love you. Well, I feel like I'm not done. I don't want to be done, but now that we're going to introduce him to real food, well, not like that, that is real food, but you like know, solid food. Solids. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm going to kind of slow down on the breast milk. So I'm probably going to give him like two bottles of breast milk a day versus like how I'm doing now that. Mm, that's all he eats. Yeah. Well, not all he eats, but I try to give him breast milk mainly because we are doing the formula half and half, but I try to mainly do breast milk. But I just want to say that whew, it hasn't been easy. And like I kind of told you guys earlier upstairs, first few months I wanted to give up, um, but I'm so glad that I didn't give up and I am proud of myself too. And we made it for six months. Mama made it six months yeah it definitely isn't easy but it's worth yeah. it and i still remember those nights when we first started and i had to get the spoon <gasps> and like oh like my goodness yeah push it out. that was like the first week yeah. when i first gave birth to elijah like it wouldn't come out i would get frustrated yeah. and yeah and like it was really really frustrating but anthony has been there all every step of the way and i'm very thankful for you babe because i don't know what i would do without this man y'all like he really you. helps me and right now like i said i'm just it's not really like hard in the sense where uh it hurts me because like my breasts have gotten used to it or like my nipples are not cracking anymore tmi but now i'm just dealing with like the mental side of it like the you know making sure i'm feeding him every time i need to feed him making sure um that i'm eating correctly because it's more for my baby even though i i'm still eating a lot of like junk food and stuff but i'm trying no, to even doing good, i've been trying to like cut it down and stuff because i have to remind myself now like it's not about me it's about him and my body like constantly changing and just accepting me for who i am like i'm a mom and then sometimes Sometimes I feel like, oh, hey, no couch. Mm. No, you can stay here. It's part of our family. I can be very hard on myself, and I just have to kind of like Maybe. really take a step back and be like, no, like this is me. Like I'm a mom now. No. Because sometimes like our body's changing and just everything, it's like gets a little frustrating because it's like you start comparing yourself. Like back before when you had a kid, and you're like, wait, it's been very hard in my mind sometimes but i'm little by little like just learning how to accept everything and how to really embrace everything because a lot of people don't tell you that about postpartum it gets really hard sometimes not only on your body physically but also like mentally um but if you you know talk if you're kind to yourself and you have a great support system like i do uh -huh. and just like talk to yourself and be positive with yourself and be kind to yourself i feel like that helps a lot and i'm very blessed because i have an amazing support system like anthony and stuff that really helped me i wanted to kind of show y'all how I was like breastfeeding ow because I don't really show it on camera because it's kind of like not appropriate like I'm not gonna like pull my breast all out but this is like one of the poses that I love the most like right here like when I'm ow oh, when no. I'm he's been grabbing mommy's hands when I'm right. when I'm breastfeeding him like this smile the baby I love this position um I just feel like okay sorry I'm not I'm not trying to feed you right now you just ate I know or I love like the football oh. pose right here it's called the football oh, pose oh. so this is like one of my favorite ones too because I would just like put him on here for some reason Elijah always latches good on here but then when I change him like this it's a little harder for him to latch so I've noticed what's been helping me is like just doing like the football pose oh I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> oh crypto. okay, oh, now you, now okay you everybody's now. like Go like now. everybody's like okay all throughout this video, I've been telling you guys and preparing you guys and telling y'all that he's gonna try his first solid food today. So it's a really huge thing. Literally, like from breast milk to formula, like I'm half really, formula. I can't really see how he reacts to it. From breast milk to trying formula and drinking formula here and there to now trying foods. Oh my god, this is like a huge thing. We did get his high chair in the mail and now we're gonna go build it. And he just ate. Yeah, so he should be ready for a nap. Oh, no. Yeah, he's gonna be ready for nap and that way it gives us a little bit of time and then in about like three to four hours We're going to give him his first meal of the of his life yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say of the day, but of his life. So you ready? Yes, let's go get the high chair So I am very excited the moment I've been waiting for is finally here. This is his high chair look. So Elijah ended up falling asleep like we predicted every time he eats y'all he gets milk drunk he and he just out. 
yeah, knocks out. But he'll probably be up in the next 30 minutes, honestly, because he is doing that a lot. He takes uh, a lot of short naps throughout the day. Yeah, I was yeah. telling them that earlier. I was like, mm -hmm. why can't you just sleep for four hours? But anyways, <laughs> a little hint. I'm not going to tell y'all because you guys have to stay tuned That's for the next video. Hint. We. <laughs> That's a big hint. But because he fell asleep, obviously, we can't show you guys right now. That's why we're going to take a short break from the camera. We're going to build this and then we're going to start recording again and show you guys his reaction. This is the hint. Can y'all guess what Elijah's gonna try first. I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say it. I mean, y'all watching this video, so this is the major hint. Make sure to turn those bells on because you do not want to miss the next video and we'll also be hearing you guys out like what Elijah should try next. But with that being said, y'all, we're gonna put this camera down and get to work. Yeah, but before leaving, again, I just want to tell you, baby, how much I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. And like, you really did your thing. You did an amazing job breastfeeding. And to all the moms out there, you guys are some superheroes, like really. What do I feel like I'm done breastfeeding? Like my breastfeeding journey is not done. Well, you're not gonna breastfeed, like you're not gonna need to breastfeed as often as you do now. So. I guess, yeah, I guess. Oh. We're transitioning to a new chapter right now, but thanks babe, I appreciate it. And again, thanks to him for all his help and all your support and I love you. But with that being said, moms, we are superheroes. And no matter if you're breastfeeding or not, mamas, you are a superhero and we love y'all and i love you and i love the whole entire aa fam but okay we're gonna get to working into building this high yeah, care before he wakes up yeah for real we have like what like 10 minutes left <laughs> i don't know but we love y'all and we'll see y'all in the next video bye, bye y'all